Guys, my eyes are almost completely healed. Do it look like I can. And today we are back with another my team challenge slash squad build It's kind of a combination of both as you can see from the title and this one's a pretty good one And I don't know why I randomly thought of it. I just I, I did I thought it would be a good title for a video So then I built the squad based on the title and you know what the squad it looks pretty good Not sure how accurate I, I, I was I'm sure a lot of people we're left off this list so you guys can roast me for who I forgot, but it's the broken ankle challenge. Now let me just explain what this is about before you get to your hating comments and saying who I put on this list is dumb. Oh, yeah, I chose players for this roster, this lineup that have had broken ankles or ankle injuries in their career. All these guys at one point have had some of them a really severe injury or some of them just a mild injury that I could find to their ankle. That's why they're all related. That's why they're all on this team. As we know, Grant Hill, probably the most famous ankle injury ever, pretty much derailed his career. He was so good in Detroit in the mid to late 90s, wrecked his ankle, broke it, and then had surgery a couple times, was never the same player afterwards. Stephen Curry, actually, before he rose to dominance in Golden State. He had a couple really bad ankle injuries. He had surgery to repair ligaments in it. Maybe not broken, but pretty bad ankles. Kyle Korver, a couple years ago, actually in the playoffs, when they were playing the Cavaliers, he got a, I think it was just a sprain, but it kept him out like six months. Kawhi Leonard, we all remember that. Last playoffs against the Warriors, he was scoring at will. And Anthony Davis, this man's been injured so often in his career. He's had a couple sprained ankles here and there. I really just needed a big man and couldn't find one that had a really bad ankle injury. And off the bench, Lonzo Ball. I had to include him because we all know how amazing Lonzo Ball is, even though he's played like half of one preseason game, but I'm sure he's amazing. DeMar DeRozan, same thing. He's had a few sprained ankles in his career. Paul George, now his ankle injury, well, it probably wasn't exactly his ankle, but the man broke his entire leg like in half. I'm not gonna show it because it's gross, but <laughs> Damari Carroll last year in the playoffs with the Raptors broke his ankle or sprained it or something. And Thon Maker, I just looked up and he's out with an ankle injury, questionable for the start of the year. So there you have it. And like I mentioned, I'm sure there's some that really I forgot and you guys will roast me for. The two that I thought of right away when making this lineup, Grant Hill, Steph Curry, the rest, they all count. Let me know who I missed. Now let's go get this win with the broken ankle squad. All right, let's go playing a pretty nice looking opponent here. He's got some, he's got some players. I think he's got a Ruby or two, but you know who I've got? I've got Anthony Davis through the leg, making a layup first possession. That's right, through the leg. Oh, that's a terrible shot. Look at that, man. He must be lagging on his end too. Life's crazy. We get to use Steph again. If you missed my video from yesterday, three point contest, you should go watch it. It was a great time. But I think I'm a lot better with Steph's shot release than I have been in the past couple years. And which is good because the past couple years, I really haven't been able to use this man. Uh oh, Kawhi Leonard in the post on Dirk. I don't know if that's a good matchup. Oh, oh, it's not a good matchup for him. Kawhi's Duncan. Come give me a screen, AD. Okay, now he's back to man to man. Uh, now he's not guarding Grant Hill. Grant Hill? Oh, yeah, a little. Okay, I was gonna say a little layup, but we'll take a little free throws. Oh my gosh, look at him leaving Kyle Korver. Are you kidding me, dude? Kyle Korver, that's the gold version. He ain't missing if he's open. That wasn't even a good release. Come on, pretty good start, surprisingly. I usually don't have good starts. 10 6. Let's go, let's go. Kawhi Leonard sent me a screen. Oh, what? What are you doing, son? I'm talking about how this man's playing weird defense, but he's kind of playing no defense right now. High key, I'm not really playing any type of defense either. <laughs> like, look at this score. Oh my gosh, not Kyle again. Not Kyle again. Two for two. This dude's unbelievable. Let's go, we out in transition. Let's get it, Kawhi Leonard. You know who I'm looking for. Grant Hill, just kidding, kick it out. Steph Curry, oh, look at this ball smoothment. Shout out to Chris Smooth. Down low, Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, and one, and free throws. That was a clean block, 2K. It's clean, Balake. Don't you make me come after you. Do you want to go to war, Balake? Come on, one more possession for the starters. Let's make it a 10-point game. Yeah, that's right. I want a three ball. We got some shooters out here. Oh, Steph Curry. Ah, I didn't mean... I didn't mean to fade, but maybe I did. It's a green release. 10-point game. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go bench squad in. What can the bench squad do? Lonzo Ball, first shot. I haven't used them all year. Oh, and he missed. And he missed, of course. Oh, not two in a row, though, Lonzo. You're not missing two in a row. He's not missing two in a row. 
You guys tried to tell me his silver card's nice. Let's go out and transition. Who do I have out here? Oh yeah, DeMar DeRozan. Why does he keep leaving Lonzo? Look, he's gonna be... Oh, he didn't leave Lonzo. Okay, I see you. Oh, who's that? Paul George, he can shoot. Paul George, he can shoot when he's not busy breaking his entire freaking leg. I think we all gotta hope that Thon Maker and Lonzo Ball's injuries aren't severe because those two could be some of the most exciting players this year, even though Lonzo or freaking Thon's missing a wide open. Grr, Paul George, not two in a row. Why do I keep saying not? I'm too good at this game. Look at 28 points in the first quarter. Unbelievable. And this man's team, it's better than mine. Like, I'm not gonna lie. You know what? Maybe you should just quit, sir. I don't want this man to quit. Like, I really don't. But, like, maybe he should. It Thon Maker inside. It's too easy for me. Lonzo's already got assists. I don't know how I didn't get that steal. Do not let him score here. Do not let him. No, 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 no. Thank you. All right. That's what I call a first quarter. This man hasn't shown signs of, you know, that he might quit. You can usually tell they usually get, start getting mad, pausing and stuff. He hasn't done that, but like, you gotta think. The rage quit isn't coming. Look at this. You're gonna try and score on Thawne inside. I dare you, boy. I dare you. Oh, he just dunked on him. Wow, that turned out badly. I want to shoot again with Paul George. The man, he does not miss. I don't even have the dynamic duo with Russell right now, but he's still overpowered. Let's go Lonzo. Oh yeah, Lonzo. Oh yeah, finds Paul George. Again, <laughs> three for three, Paul George, two for two with Corver. Lonzo's dropping dimes. What more could you ask for with the broken ankle? Okay, we're getting dunked on again. Well, maybe we could play some defense. Yo, hi, key guys, we're just past halftime. I should have had Kyle Corver in that three-point contest vid. Four for four, this man's hitting contested threes. I am just killing this dude out here. Like, I actually feel bad. But hey, guess we gotta just keep playing with what we're dealt with here, boys. No letting up there, team. Let's get him out here, boy. Steph Curry, wide open three. Pass it off, Kyle Corver. I keep expecting Kyle Corver to miss. Just one time. Dude, this gold Corver, he wasn't even that expensive. Definitely a sleeper card. Holy moly, he's good. I wonder what Corver's salary cap is because he's definitely a card. Oh, good block, AD. Definitely a card you should all put on your team if you can afford him. And if his salary's not that high. Ah, he didn't miss again. That was a two-pointer, but he was moving. I should morph this video into a 50-point challenge with freaking Kyle Corver. A 100-point challenge. I could hit 100 in this game. Let's be real. Here we go. Here we go. Sagging off. No. I should take a heat check three with Corver, like, to see how good he really is. Like, can he hit a moving three? That's a miss. That's got it. Finally, he misses. Oh, two in a row. Two in a row. Step curry. It don't matter if you get me to miss one shot. I'm making the next one. All right. Might as well show off a little bit of fourth quarter action. We're up by a little something light. 35. Yeah, th 35 points. Nothing too major. <laughs> Ah, uh, we got the bench back in, Paul George. Ah, uh, no. Oh, he made that. Kind of thought he was going to miss. Wasn't a three, but uh, Paul George kind of having himself a game. This is a struggle, though. Like, I would have been perfectly okay if this man would have quit after I dropped, like, 35 points in the first quarter on him. But now if he quits, I'm going to be mad. Like, I need to see these stats. But, like, if you've made it this far in the game with this type of beating you're getting, you're probably not going to quit. You're probably just a good guy looking for some 2K action. You don't care if you win or lose. You don't care if tomorrow dots you up from th wow damar i don't know if damar scored yet oh look yep he has thank you 2k for answering my question one for four though not good enough damar this lonzo ball card for a silver pretty nice but silvers are really expensive so even if you're on like a budget squad it's probably not worth it to use a silver but if you uh if you need to even out your salary cap yeah he might be that dude for you damari carroll getting a layup all right let's get one more basket here before i cut to the end of the game pretty sure we know how this game's gonna end I, I don't know i guess it might be in jeopardy a little bit here let's go damar you're uh kicking it out paul george little midi yep yep, no. yep. what paul how dare you paul now we might lose because of you i'm just kidding the outcome was clearly never in jeopardy we won by 41 points our numbers obviously came down from when i showed you but 58 percent from deep 62 from the field i was chucking shots up too bruh individually steph curry nine and 19 points nine assists yeah he was real good corver i finally missed some shots with him he was on fire same with paul george look at these numbers Lonzo Ball, 10 assists. You're welcome, Lakers fans. I'm pretty sure everybody scored on the team, too. Even Damare Carroll. Wait, Anthony Davis had the fewest amount of points from the broken ankle challenge. 
what are the chances? If you did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a thumbs up. Leave me any feedback you may have. Also, leave me any video ideas that you guys might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Make sure you check out my most recent video if you haven't already. I'm out till next time, guys. Peace.